What is good everybody? It's your boy Phil. Here we are again with another video. Honestly, I wouldn't even really say here we are again because it's been so long since I've actually made a video, but I'm super excited for the video that I have coming for you guys today. It's gonna be a installation of my two new Braum Red Suede bucket seats, as well as I'm gonna be tearing up the uh, old WRX carpet and installing the blue STI stock carpet. So I'm gonna be doing all that right now. And maybe if you guys are lucky, I will be installing the door panels. Here are the seats. Like I said, there are some Brom seats. There's gonna be a picture of them right now uh, in the video so that you guys can actually see what they look like. And then in this big box right here, you guys might think it's a 60 inch TV, but it is not. It is actually the blue carpet, okay? We're gonna be unboxing that right now. First things first, we have to clean up the inside of my car because the inside of the car is a hot mess, right? We got crap everywhere. There's literally stuff all over my seats, okay? The original carpet, obviously you guys can see is a gray tone and that all is going to look blue once I am done with it. Let's get the front and the back all cleaned up. Let's get all the stuff out of here. We'll do probably another little shot and then uh, we'll do some videos of the teardown process. Let's get it. This is what we look like right now. Hella grimy, bunch of crap, right? Stock WRX seats in there right now. Obviously we got a lot of crap and stuff on here. We got some rips on the driver's side. It's just a whole lot of stuff going on with these seats. They're definitely worn down. Probably get some new STI mats just so that we don't use those uggos. But I will give those a deep clean right now. Try and salvage it. WRX door panels so that we will be uh, swapping out as well. So there's that side. Let's go over to the other side real quick. You can tell really dusty. Here is the other side. Old seats and the driver's side. We are gonna be actually replacing that steering wheel pretty soon too. So first things first, we're gonna probably get these back seats tore up. There's gonna be, I think those are a couple there are either 14s or 17s. And then we're gonna get these, this whole back seat assembly off. And then we are going to tackle those two front seats right over here in the back of the seat. We're gonna tear those covers up right there, right there. And there's gonna be two more down at the bottom. So there's gonna be one right here, right, right where you see my finger. And then the other one's gonna be right there. Okay, so there's gonna be a total of four. We're gonna be tearing those off in order to actually get the seats up itself. And that is the only way you're gonna be able to change out the carpet. So let's get this knocked out, guys. I don't even have to take off this top half of the seat. You just need to take the bottom half off. So we're already done with that, that, that part right here. We will just get the pop clip remover and then we'll remove all these clips. But we're gonna actually get those front seats out first and then we're gonna try and vacuum all the inside. And then uh, it's basically go that route. So we'll check back in right now. side is out let's get that other side out let's get this ball rolling because we are running out of daylight well there is no more daylight but we gotta we gotta make something happen so let's get this other seat out and then get it cracking
this is the inside i'm about to vacuum it all out real quick pull out the center console vacuum the rest of this and then pull off all little pop caps so that we can get this carpet all fully pulled up and then put the new carpet in Threw down the black STI mats, but this shit looks no ice on and cracking, nice and blue. I just need some new STI mats. But besides that, shit is looking mighty fine in here, man. Shit is looking mighty fine. Just gotta get those seats in here now. Here we are, final touch. 